nfps.wpf my name is david cash and we are here in sunny miami florida uh, at the sagamore hotel uh, for get basil um, and i am joined with one of my dearest friends metaverse pioneer artist extraordinaire founder of the tech is a movement krista kim how are you doing today krista thank Wonderful. you so much for being here thank you so much i'm so happy to be here with you darling such a pleasure and of course doing this in front of continuum the next leg of the tour we've seen it in toronto we've seen it in china and now we're here yes. at our basil yes. experiencing it Right here, right I'm here so in the happy. flesh. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here at the Sagamore Hotel. They've been so hospitable, and I love the the way that they really embrace the arts and are really so supportive of having artists do installations here. They're really wonderful. Yeah, and it's so amazing to, to travel and come and see your art at this scale. Thank you. Um, all over the world. Thank you so much, really. It's yeah. such a pleasure. And, you know, I mean, it's wonderful that I'm actually bringing this um, message of decentralization and yeah. healing and yeah. wellness to the gradient and bring it to Miami during this really incredible, like historic Art Basel. Actually. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. NFTs are taking over this year as, as we have witnessed firsthand. Um, and I think one of the most powerful things about this piece in particular is the public art element, um, seeing people interact with it IRL. Yes. Um, and obviously we saw that in Toronto in a very specific context, but how has it been bringing it into, into an open atmosphere and seeing people interact with it um, in party settings during the day, at lunches? Um, how has it been for you seeing it this time in Miami? Well, you know, I, this is the thing, you know, I, I think that overall, I just want to get the message out there that uh, we should live with optimism and hope for the future and, uh, you know, have that sort sort of like decentralized movement moving forward. Because you're right, it's all about NFTs right now. And NFTs have really taken over Art Basel in a major way. Um, I'm also involved in the NFT Now curated show for Chris yes. Christie's. And I'm with some incredible artists, like really, really top notch. And it's been such an incredible sort of how can you say this? Like, all of us know that we're part of a greater movement. And the fact that I'm here, the fact that we're here during a very historic time, post-COVID, uh, the first Miami Basel that's opened since two years. It's, yeah, um, this is then, gonna be written about in history. That's yeah. right, and, 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 the, and the artists that have shown during this period of Art Basel, uh, it's really written in history, so it's, it's a real honor. Oh, it's beautiful. And you have absolutely been very busy this week. Uh, you had this installation. You had, like you just mentioned, the Christie's NFT Now. There was the super rare monolith. And we had, of course, the our little takeover of the Miami Convention Center. Exactly. Um, do you want to tell the people what we did, our intervention um, here at Art Basel 2021? Oh, absolutely. So basically, it's a collaboration between Super Rare and Super World App. And Super World App is the internet of augmented reality. So what we've done is uh, we have chosen uh, 15 Super Rare artists who have created AR art sculptures that were placed in augmented reality on the Super Rare app to view inside the Miami Convention Center. So it's very interventionalist, it's, it's very cheeky. Uh, it's very NFT. I, I think that it's a wonderful intervention that shows that we're here and we're not going away. And the level of the art and the curation is so beautiful. It's, it's such an honor to collaborate with Fabricant on my piece, actually. Yeah. Uh, we created a beautiful uh, piece where they, they created the fashion and my art was actually um, used as part of the fabric design and everything. It so it's beautiful. really, it's historic actually. That's another really special piece. And we have incredible artists like Marjan Mogadam, like Kenny Schachter, uh, yeah, it, it's so many artists, Federico Klappes, um, everyone in that show is really a legend. It's Absolutely. Really and I feel like that experience was very much a metaphor for what's going on here. You yeah. know, NFTs are taking over Art Basel. You know, our, our announcement article of this was NFT Basel. And there even was an event, NFT Basel. Yeah. And of course, on top of all of your art installations, you got to speak on so many different panels. Oh, yeah. um, do you have any highlights from the week? Anything, any conversations that you had that really stuck out to you um, from this past week? I think that there's a lot of solidarity in, yeah. in the community. I, I love to see that everyone from moving from virtual space on Twitter to real life space. I think that there's so much um, camaraderie, friendship, connecting as human beings uh, in person. Yeah. It's a very spiritual space. Like everyone is so friendly and open. And when you meet them in person, you know, it's, it's really special. We're part of a larger community and you feel it when you meet each other face to face and you're in a place like NFT Basel and you're seeing all the faces of people that you've seen like on online, Twitter, yeah, online. Virtually. And then you connect and it's like, it's. It, the human connection in person, in real life, can never be replaced by Twitter spaces or whatever, but or, or Clubhouse. But 
I mean, think about it. There's no, um, you know, there's no icebreaker. We just know each yeah. other. And I think it's really special that we have this amazing pioneering group of people, incredible, talented people here in Miami. Absolutely. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger every year. This is just the beginning. And I mean, seeing companies like Tezos sponsoring Art Basel and seeing uh, other huge organizations really just taking over the city and being so relevant in this time where the whole traditional entertainment industry comes together. Um, and the fact that NFTs were being written about more than traditional art, I would say, from a lot of the major publications. Mm. Um, how has it been for you seeing this uh, art form now taken so seriously as it's grown over the past year? Well, you know, I, I like to look at it more as a sort of like the introduction of NFTs and the culture of NFTs, meaning decentralization and empowerment of creators, empowerment of the sovereign human. I think this whole cultural movement uh, is, is really, um, you know, growing and the awareness of it. And art is always the first, uh, you know, I guess, introduction. It's accessible. Uh, it's accessible. And, you know, it really expresses the zeitgeist, you know, the, you know, the feelings and the expression of what's happening today. So it's really quite exciting. I really encourage everyone to go check out the NFT now and the Christie's auction sale show. Uh, you've got super rare artists, you've got 33 uh, um, NFT, you've got um, uh, so many incredible collectors that are showing their masterpieces in the NFT world and it's it's such a stark contrast to the you know the traditional art uh, art uh, exhibition of Miami Basel in the convention center because I feel like when you're in the NFT show it's so now and yeah. everything is going digital and now into the metaverse so it feels more relevant. You have to check it out. Yes, yeah, exactly. It really does. And you know it's the future, too. Yeah. You feel like, wow, this is the art of the future and the message of the future and Absolutely. the culture of the future. And it's really amazing seeing so many of us early metaverse builders and, and participants um, being able to come here in person. And, and I said the same thing in New York, but it really feels like this is the metaverse. We are you know, bringing the metaverse to these physical locations. Yes. And it's really incredible. Yes, um, and you touched on this briefly, but I want to bring it up again, um, the openness of the space. And I really, I really attribute that to the open source nature yes. um, of information, of art, of communities, yes. um, and the fact that we can learn from each other and grow together um, and kind of discover these um, emerging, bleeding edge technologies mm. as a group. Absolutely. Um, so how is collaboration and this kind of open source aspect of this space, what is, how important has that been for you and your practice? Oh my goodness, it's everything. Um, I think especially if you're creating beautiful art these days, it's a team effort. Um, I think that in the space also, you can't do it alone. Uh, you know, it's you have relationships with the collectors, you have relationships with the artists, you have relationships with the, with the promoters, you know, the people who are actually there, like yourself, you know, really <laughs> advocates for the space and, and um, helping promote the art, helping promote the culture. So we need each other. The, the yes. interdependence and the, the collaboration is really a beautiful thing to see in Web3. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. It's, yeah. You see Miami is really a hub for like cryptocurrencies. You've got, even in the Sagamore Hotel, um, you have like a conference on cryptocurrencies. Yeah. It's the future. The crypto revolution is here. And we are, as artists, we are the ones who are really pivotal in creating, you know, culture for that, for that, uh, for Web3. So Absolutely. it's special. I mean, I, feel, I, I get goosebumps sometimes and I think about how, how important, uh, you know, this, this time is right now in Miami and what we see and what we're witnessing, uh, the conversations and the relationships that we're making right now, it's, these are people you're going to collaborate with to actually create the pioneering forces of the future. It's really incredible. Absolutely. And it's such a lovely thing, uh, you know, where we are right now, where um, our collectors, our collaborators, the people that we work with are the community that we are working for and with. Um, and we've really like reached a point where um, all of these roles almost blend together and we've we've built a real community here and each of our communities um, are interoperable as is the space so I think it's really exciting and you are definitely one of the pioneers pushing this space forward um, so I appreciate you I know a lot of people watching appreciate you um, and yeah I don't want to take up too much more of your time um, but just uh, just to summarize and, and let people know um, what do you have going on what's for sale right now where should people uh, what should people Google uh, to see what Krista Kim is up to right now? Well, I have two major things that are going on right now. The first is that I've listed a piece for auction in Christie's that has already reached its reserve price. 
and um, my continuum installation is here until Sunday awesome. and uh, the plan is basically to create and produce a world tour of continuum so it's a it's a wonderful experience here to show it at the Sagamore we had the mayor uh, mayor Gilbert of South Beach here and uh, the owner of the hotel, uh, Ronit Newman, uh, you know, really, they hosted a beautiful brunch here uh, for the community. It's an annual, an annual event, but I mean, it was so nice to be here and to be, you know, the the marquee artwork of of, of the event and and to you know to to showcase it and more eyes on the art. It's better to spread the word, and um, I really love giving a speech and talking about decentralization and and the vision for a decentralized future and how Continuum is bringing meditativeness, wellness around the world and how we went from you know Toronto to China to, to Miami and beyond. So there's a greater mission, Beautiful. and uh, it's it's. It's, uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of support for it too. It's, it's wonderful. Absolutely. I'll use your words to wrap us up, but Thank the you. gradient is the symbol of decentralization. And that's why I got my nails done in the same as Continuum, so. Yes. <laughs> She's got Krista Kim nails. It's got beautiful. Krista Kim nails. It's amazing. Well, it's such an honor. I'm so happy we're here in front of your speech. It's so beautiful to see it again. Thank you, Lars. Um, and yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for making the time. Oh, no, um, of course. Anything for you, David. <laughs> I love you. I love and, you, too. Uh, as always, we're here with NFTS at WPF. This was Krista. Kim and David Cash. Thank you so much. Bye from Miami. Take care.